हेलो स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू वेलकम टू मेहदी इंग्लिश स्कूल माय सेल्फ नीलोफर मिस एंड माय सब्जेक्ट इज मैथमेटिक्स एंड यू ऑल नो दिस थिंग दैट आई एम टेकिंग द मैथमेटिक्स सब्जेक्ट एंड दिस ऑनलाइन लेक्चर इज फॉर द स्टूडेंट ऑफ क्लास टू सो द क्लास टू स्टूडेंट्स Are you all ready to attend this online lecture of today? So, watch it very well. Now, as you know, that always we begin our lecture with the what. So here is the today's what. That as you know more, you grow more. So the books become your best friend. You have to make that books is your best friend. As you know more, the books. you will grow more okay so please during this time which is a lockdown you are not coming to school you do your study online you are attending your lectures online so please do all the things very well now chapter number 10 we are in the chapter number 10 and the name of this chapter is a measurement so students uh, let's do revision of the previous lecture first so if any students have any doubt related to the topic so it will be a solve i repeat that topic first of the previous lecture and then we will move to the today's topic so let's start the revision of the previous topic first so students revision is complete of the previous topic so here is the today's topic now so let's read the question this is the worksheet of the weight now which one is lighter what do you mean by lighter whose weight is less right you have to compare these two things in this given picture this picture you have to just compare these two pictures in this given box so here is a leaf of a tree and here is a tree so whose weight is less and whose weight is more you have to decide this thing that which thing is a lighter and which thing is a heavier which thing is a light and which thing is a heavy now here is this is the leaf right and this one is a tree so what thing you can carry by your hand so the light thing is a leaf right very light weight the thing is now this is the next one here is a butterfly and an elephant right this two things is there butterfly and elephant so from this two given picture whose weight is more whose weight is a more can you identify whose weight is a more butterfly can fly and elephant is a big animal right so it is very easy question that whose weight is light so butterfly is a light weight insect okay so we have to circle on the insect which is but, uh, butterfly now here is a ball and a hockey stick so whose weight is light and whose weight is more which thing is a light and which thing is a heavy you have to decide from this two given things which one is a light thing and which one is a heavy thing so what do you think what is your answer which one is a light thing and which one is a heavy thing so my answer is a ball ball is a light thing okay because you can easily throw it by your hand without taking taking anyone's help so ball is a light weighted now the next one is now here is a table and here is a dish so what do you think about it whose weight is a more and whose weight is less what is the light weight and what is the heavy weight so 
that is very easy question to light and heavy you have to find out from the given box so here is table and dish so you can easily carry you can easily push up the dish but you cannot easily push up the table so i think the right answer is a dish this one is a right answer that light weighted the weight of the dish is very light you can easily you know pull up the dish by yourself only okay students so the right answer is a dish now the next one is a ketchup bottle and a balloon so whose weight is less and whose weight is more this one is a ketchup bottle the sauce tomato sauce tomato ketchup and here is a balloon so whose weight is a less and whose weight is a more which thing you can easily pull up balloon or a ketchup bottle so i hope your answer is a balloon right your answer is match with my answer that one is a correct answer now the next one is a bed and a rat so whose weight is a less whose weight is a more can you identify students whose weight is a more and whose weight is a light so i think you all understood this thing now that who is heavier or who is a lighter in a weight so my answer is a rat because bed is a very heavy thing and rat is a light than the bed i hope you understood this thing i have one another question for you you have to read this heading first for each row there is a new heading for you so here is circle the heavier object so here two object is given one is a chair and one is a balloon so you have to circle on the thing which is heavier whose weight is more not a light thing that thing that is not easy hard to move from one place to another so here is a chair and here is a balloon whose weight is a more you have to circle the heavier thing now from this two given thing i think the chair is a heavier thing right than compared to ba balloon you have to compare these two things only not this others you have to compare just two things that given two things in a one row here is a chair and here is a balloon you have to circle the heaviest object so here is a chair and here is a balloon so if you compare these two things so the chair is a heaviest thing now here is a train and here is a truck so what do you think circle the heaviest object you have to read this heading first that circle the heavier object what is this circle the heavier object here is a train and here is a truck so you have to decide which one is more heavier both the things are heavier but you have to decide that which one is more heavier than other train is a heavy thing than truck a truck is a heavy thing than train you have to decide which thing is a long which thing is a more so truck is a small one truck is a small object but the train is a big object so my answer is a train because train is very big than the truck right so the heavier object is from this given two objects train and truck so the right answer is a train i hope you understood this thing now here is circle the lighter object whose weight is less you have to circle on that thing circle the lighter object so here is a ship a cruise 
or here is a bulldozer so you have to compare these two objects and you have to decide that which thing is a lighter whose weight is a less so this one is a cruise and here is a bulldozer so what do you think students which object is a light in a weight what do you think is it is a ship or is it a bulldozer what do you think which which whose weight which object's weight is a less than compared to other one so i hope my answer is a bulldozer because it is a small object compared to the ship or cruise what you can call it this one is a small object compared with the cruise so that's why my answer is a bulldozer that is the lighter object the weight of the bulldozer is lighter than the cruise than the ship now the next heading is circle the lighter object so here is a sofa chair or here is a cushions cushions okay so what do you think students whose weight is a light of course you can see easily and you can identify whose weight is a less who can easily pull up you can easily pull up both the things you can see one is a big chair and one is a cushion so my answer is that cushions okay next thing i have for you circle the lighter object so here is a boat and here is a bag so you have to decide you have to compare the weight that whose weight is a light who is not heavy that much you have to compare this two things only so my answer is a bag bag is a light object than the ship small boat the next one is a circle the heavier object what circle the heavier object here is a tent and here is a cap a hat you can call it so camp is a very big thing it is a large than a cap cap you can wear on your head so if you see by size only so the weight of the tent is more than the hat and the cap i hope you understood this students the weight of this tent or the weight of this cap or hat so can you decide it which object is a heavier you have to compare this two things only which one is a heavier or which one is a light so heavier object is a tent so the right answer is a tent i hope you understood these things very well students now circle the lighter object very you know light to carry weight is not that much you can easily pull up so here is a glass of juice and here is a feather of peacock here is a glass of juice filled with juice glasses filled with juice not empty glass here is glass filled with juice and here is a feather so which thing you can easily carry into your hand which thing is a very light the heading is circle the lighter object what is the question the question is circle the lighter object so my answer is a feather it is a very light thing if you compare with the glass of juice now the next one is a circle the heavier object so here is a car and here is a truck so truck with the container so which thing which object is a heavier so what do you think car is a heavier or the truck is a heavier with container what do you think if you compare these two things so i think the large and the heavier thing is this truck with the container this one is a heavier thing i have one more example for you here here is a cart and here is a wheelchair circle the lighter object whose weight is not that much not a too much cart 
or a wheelchair what do you think whose weight is a more so the right answer is a wheelchair the weight of the wheelchair is not that much as the cart now the taxi and the cycle circle the heavier object you have to compare these two things car and bicycle and you have to circle on the heavier object what you do circle the heavier object here is a taxi which is a car and here is a bicycle whose weight is more so i think you all know the answer that it is a car car is heavier than the bicycle i hope you understood this thing now circle the heavier person here is a fat man and here is the thin boy you have to decide that whose weight is more you have to compare these two persons who is standing here in this one row and you have to decide that whose weight is more you have to decide this thing so this person which i circle on it it is a heavier if you compare with the thin boy now circle the lighter object this one is a boat and this one is a ship if you compare these two objects here is the a boat and here is a ship so you have to circle on the lighter object whose weight is not more whose weight is a less you have to circle on this thing whose weight is not more whose weight is a less so the weight of the boat is less to compare the now students let's go to the length let's go to the meter and centimeter worksheet let's move back to the meter and centimeter worksheet so i have one worksheet for you so let's start solving it you have to write it down the spelling while you are writing into your fair book you have to write down the spelling of book the spelling of crayons the spelling of glue so that way you have to write it down now here is the picture of book i'll show you by zooming it so you can see this one as a book right so you have to write down in which you will measure the book in what so you will measure the book in centimeter meter or centimeter i hope you clear this topic this topic is clear into your mind that how to measure the thing is with the help of the scale as i show you before also i explain to you with the ruler you have to measure it and start with the zero you so this is the very small thing you can measure it through your scale also so the measurement will come in the centimeter what you can call it a centimeter now the next one is a crayon box so you have to measure the length of the crayon box what you have to measure the here is i'll show you the crayon box here you can see i'll just move the red dot around this picture so in what you will measure this you will measure the crayon box in the centimeter also i hope you understood this topic that how to measure the thing is now the glue bottle is there i'll show you the glue bottle by zooming it here you can see the glue bottle right this one is a glue bottle so if you want to measure the length of this glue bottle what you will do so you have to put the scale on that bottle starting with the zero and just check the ending point where it ends and just note down the length of it and it will come in the centimeter only in which the measurement will come length measurement it will come in the centimeter i hope you understood this thing now the next one is a diary what it is it is a diary if you want to measure the diary it also measure in the 
centimeter only you can see here i'll show you dairy by zooming it you can see here this one is a dairy right so you can also measure it in a centimeter this one is a calculator here you can measure it in a centimeter also then the pan is there i'll show you the pan is there see this so if you want to measure the length of this pan pan is a very small object right it is a very small thing you can just carry into your hands and the use of it is to writing something right so the measurement and the length will come in the centimeter only now the next one is a caesar here is the caesar you can see you all familiar with the caesar and sometimes you all use this caesar somewhere else to cut something right so the length of the caesar is also will come in the centimeter only so the topic must be a clear now i have one more example for you centimeter and meter so here is the object you can see this one is a sofa and here is two options is given one is a meters or here is a centimeters so you have to choose the unit that the sofa will come in a centimeter or a meter you have to choose the thing in which unit we can measure the object is so first one is a sofa here you can see this one is a sofa so in what you can measure you can measure in the meter i have to circle on it i'll just do it so you can measure the sofa in the what you can measure the sofa in the meter so you have to put circle on the meter this way i'll show you this one is a sofa here is the sofa you can see and you have to measure in the meter so this way you have to put circle on the meter now next one you can see is a bench right the bench is what you can use to put your books right our class has so many benches so it will measure in what in a meter or in a centimeter so the answer is a meter you can measure the thing in a see i'll show you by zooming it if you want to measure this bench you have to use the unit which is meter that is long than centimeter right then here is a mobile phone you can see here in this picture you can see this is the mobile phone right so if you want to measure the mobile phone which unit you will choose it is a meter or centimeter so my answer is the centimeter what the centimeter you can see i'll just zooming it now you can measure the mobile phone mobile phone in the centimeter unit you have to choose the centimeter now here is a book as we seen this example before also right just now before so if you want to measure the book which unit you will choose you have to choose the centimeter to measure it so you have to put circle on the centimeter now the next one is a chair you can see here this one is a chair so if you want to measure the chair which unit you will choose it will uh, in a meter or it will in a centimeter so if chair is a small so you can choose in a meter if you just it depends on the length of the chair but it will come in the meter only you have to choose to measure the length of the chair it will come in the meter only now i have one more thing for you here is a eraser right this one is a eraser so the length of the eraser will come in what which unit you will choose for it it will come that what you will choose so the length you will choose it is a centimeter you have to write down this way the centimeter right 
see this way you have to write down you have to write down eraser and you have to write down centimeter because the length of the eraser will come in the centimeter pencil so pencil the length of the pencil will also come for the the measurement of the pencil will come in the centimeter next one is a pen so the measurement of the pen also will come in the unit of the centimeter pencil case you can measure in the centimeter only ruler is also come in the centimeter marker is also a small object so it also come in the centimeter unit then the notebook this is the third example of the notebook so we'll choose centimeter to measure the book then for the chair we'll use meter to now the desk is what do you mean by desk on what you can just put your books and you can easily write down so this one is a desk so you can measure the desk in the centimeter also then the pencil sharpener so that is the very small thing the pencil sharpener is a very small thing so you can measure the pencil sharpener in the centimeter now the next one is a so many examples for you that you are using in a daily routine life here is a water bottle so if you want to measure the water bottle this is your homework right you have to write down in which unit you will measure it is a meter or centimeter the next one is a eraser so in what you will measure it in a meter or centimeter you have to give me the answer i will not give you answer for this worksheet you have to write down the this worksheet you have to write down the spelling of it no need to draw this types of picture you have to write down just a water bottle and in front of it you have to note down it is a centimeter or meter in which unit you will measure the thing is so the water bottle you can measure in a centimeter this is the answer of the first thing now eraser so in the next lecture it means tomorrow i will give you the answer right answer but before it you have to write down this all the spellings into your book and in front of this thing you have to choose the correct option if it is a meter or centimeter i will not give you the answer this worksheet is a homework for you here is a eraser then a writing book that you all are using for example your fair book that then a pen then a scissors a papers that a craft papers we are talking about the craft papers right then a pencil that you are using to write down to complete your fair book right you all know about the pencil different different types of pencil will come now a pencil case it means the compass box pencil case it means the compass box then the school bag you all have this thing which is the school bag right so you have to choose one unit for it that in what you will measure it is a meter or centimeter then a basketball so you have to choose that in which unit you will just measure the length of the basketball it will be in a meter or centimeter then the ipod you all know about this gadgets mobile phone ipod right tablets pc laptops all these things but here we are talking about this ipod then a calculator you all know this also right and i think you all are using this all the things which uh, which is in the worksheet right so this thing is a homework for you you have to just give me the correct unit that how we can measure the thing is in a meter or in a centimeter now estimated length here is a bicycle so what is the length it is you have to measure you have to just guess is you have to estimate it is a 6 ft long or it is a 6 inches it means a 6 cm long what do you think just a 6 cm or 6 m how long this bicycle is 
so the bicycle is approx long as a 6 feet how long it is it is approx long as a 6 feet then a crayon color so how long it is a 6 feet or the 3 inches it means a 3 centimeter how long the crayon is if it is long a 3 feet or 3 centimeter it means the inches so the right answer is 3 inches it means the 3 centimeter now the thread is it is a 2 feet or 2 inch we are talking about the length we are not about the thread so it is a 2 inches long now here is a pole right street light what it is it is a street light so how long it is 15 feet or 15 inches how long it is so obviously it is a 15 feet long now the hockey stick is there it is how much long 5 feet or 5 inch it means the 5 centimeter how long it is so the right answer is 5 feet then a fish how long it is 4 feet or 4, four inch it means a 4 centimeter how long it is so it is a 4 inches long not a 4 feet okay the fish is not as much long so the right answer is 4 inches now students you have to note down this all the worksheets into the fair book and one time in a rough book also so we'll solve that last worksheet into the next lecture so please write down all the things into the fair book so now thank you so much students for watching the video please do homework from the video now we'll meet in the next lecture so till stay home stay safe stay strong thank you so much students bye bye